This is a tutorial on how to data mosh videos with Data Mosher Pro. Data Mosher Pro is my special glitch art tool that can easily data mosh any video within seconds. This will be a tutorial on how to use it. First open this website to download the required version. There are two versions of Data Mosher Pro. One is the basic Python version and the other one is the Windows executable version. There is no installation required for the EXE version, but the Python version will require some installation which I will try to cover in next video. So subscribe the channel for updates. Both the versions are slightly different, you will get many other features in the Windows version. You can easily get the version you need, links are in description. I am going to demonstrate it in the Windows version only. First of all open the program. You will get this user interface in the Windows version. So let's start. The top label shows the effect title, you can press the right and left buttons to change the effect type. In the right corner it shows the mode type, there are three categories available, the first one is Auto Mosh which contains 8 unique Data Mosh effects. The second category contains some original Data Mosh modes like the original Avademix Data Mosh. The third category is FF Glitch Effects which contains lots of glitchy modes. The basic pack includes some manual modes. The second pack is the Glitch Assist Pack which contains over 40 script related unique effects. You can also create your own glitch effect with the custom mode which we will discuss later. So this is a summary on the effects available inside Data Mosher Pro. Every effect is tested properly, so you can experiment with any video you want. Now I am going to demonstrate the major effects. First let's import a video file by clicking this import video button. Browse through your folders and select any video you want. I am choosing this video here. I have created some example videos for this tutorial. You can see that it is successfully imported and is also playing in the video player. Now you can either leave the save options as auto save if you want to export the data mosh video automatically. Otherwise you can also use the save as option to save the export file manually when it is rendered out. I am choosing auto save with the mp4 format. You can change it if you want. It doesn't matter much with the video container. Now one thing to keep in mind is that it will do some conversions when we mosh the file. The default settings are always good for a stable result, but in case if you want to change the conversion settings like bitrate, resolution, codec, or any other parameters then you can do that in the conversion settings. The conversion is done with FFmpeg, an easy guide for this is also available in the same GetUp wiki page. There are other application settings you can change like the themes and also check for updates if you want. Now let's try the effects. I am going to show the auto mosh effects first. Let's start with the void mode. This mode works like the normal trendy data mosh effect. The kill frame slider shows how much frames to delete based on the max frame size. A higher value means more transitions will be affected in the video. Other setting like the keep first frame should always be turned on for normal videos with the basic conversion settings. The keep audio will keep the original audio if selected. The use image IO option is a different conversion method where it uses image sequence conversion instead of FFmpeg converter. This sometimes create higher quality outputs but we are not gonna use it now. Let's mosh this video with the void effect. We just have to click this mosh button to bake the file. There are three steps in the whole process. You can view all the logs here in the console window and keep track of the frame numbers. You can also click Q on your keyboard to end any conversion process. It just took a few seconds to render this small clip. Let's see the results by clicking this Moshit button. It will play the Moshit file immediately. You may have got the idea about this effect. Now let's move on to the next effect called the bloom effect. This is a frame repeatation effect with all the same auto mosh transitions. 
like this is an example of the bloom effect. Let me show you how to make that bloom transition. Here is the original footage. For this I will set the position of the frame I want to repeat. Then I will enter the frame count that is how long to repeat the frame. I am choosing 50 for this. Let's mosh the thing again. Here is the same result I showed you. Bloom is not always accurate in the repetition effect, but there are some more similar and advanced mode like the water bloom effect of FF glitch basic modes. This gives the same results like bloom at any frame you want. This one is more cleaner version of bloom but both are unique at the same time. The options are all same like the bloom mode. Let me show you the results with this mode. So this is how the water bloom works. Other auto mosh effects are also similar type of effects, you can try every effect one by one, but don't put large values in the frame count. Now let's move on to the next category that is classic mode. Let me choose the previous example video for this. This is an automatic iframe removal effect. It works best with transitions. This is kind of those Avademix data mosh. Just choose the segment of your video you want to apply the effect and click on mosh. Here is the classic data mosh. You can also play with the P-frame value to give a unique repetition effect like this. This is a type of uniform gliding effect. You can play with it and see the results. Let me show you the process again. We first choose the segment and then we will decide the number of P-frames. Here is the gliding effect of the classic mode. Note that the video will become a little bit longer than the original length. So this is all about the classic mode. The other effect like glide is a non-uniform repetition effect which means it doesn't make the output video longer. Here is the output of glide mode. You can see that the glide mode is not making the video longer. The next major effect is the repeat effect, this is also very easy to use. Just choose the start frame and the number of frames to repeat. This is the result. I hope you understand how these frame repetition effects work. Other effects like sort and echo are preset type effects which also gives cool glitchy videos. This mode sorts the video frames by data size which gives this weird glitches. You can do lots of experiment with all the original modes. Let's move on to the next category. The last category is the FF glitch mode. This is a whole different glitch tool. 
I am going to import the previous example video for this. I will start from the basic modes of FF glitch. These are the effects available inside this pack. The first one is the fluid effect. The fluid mode plays with the average motion vectors. You just have to choose amount for the fluidity and just have to click the mosh button. It will take a little long to render but the results are really outstanding. It's done, let's see the exported video. You can see that this is a very smooth looking glitch effect. The next mode is a simple vector motion effect. Let me show you the results quickly. This one is vertically stretching the motion vectors, you can also use the horizontal option and get a different result. The next effect is motion transfer. You can use the motion transfer mode to transfer vector data of a video to other. Open the reference video from which you want to extract the motion vectors, for example this is our reference video. Now just click on MOSH. There are two more major effect that is shuffle and rise. Rise mode is combination of classic and auto mosh but it is more manual. You can delete any frame segment and get that data mosh transition. Let me choose the first example video again. I will just adjust the segment I want to delete so that it creates the data mosh effect in that part only. Technically we are deleting the iframes. Here is the data mosh video. Note that this effect is different from auto mosh. Now the next similar but powerful data mosh effect is the shuffle mode. Let me choose a different example video I created. What it does is randomly shuffles the chunks of video frames and moshes them together. This effect gives great results with videos having random clips. You just have to choose how much frames you want for each transition. I am choosing a lower value so that I can get more transitions. Note that this mode gives different results every time. So these are the basic modes of FF glitch. Let's move to the last category. But let me choose a smaller video this time. I will choose that small reference video we used in the motion transfer mode. The next pack is the glitch assist pack which contains 40 plus glitch effects. Every effect works as a preset based effect so you don't have to choose any option here. Just choose the effect and mosh it to see the results. These are some examples. This was the buffer effect. Let me show you the rain mode also. You can see that this are glitch type effect. Let me show some more results with another video. There are lots of effects here, I am just showing some of them randomly. 
let me show you the zoom in effect. Wow, this is giving some trippy looking visuals. You may wonder what these two options are doing here. The hardware acceleration option is an important parameter. It can remove artifacts and slightly give a better result in some cases. You can also tweak the keyframe parameter if you want to change the duration of an effect for the group of frames. All the glitch assist effect are available in script format inside this folder, you can tweak them manually to get customized results. In that case you just have to use the custom effects option here, just open your script and play with it. This tool have lots of effects and the fun part is that it will give you different results with different videos based on their video vectors. So always experiment with different videos. I hope this video will be helpful for everyone. If you have any questions then please comment below. Thanks for your support and have a nice day.